Well, hey, y'all, I just wanted to come in. There were a couple questions on R8 on IXL, and I thought it would be helpful if I just showed you an example without using sine, cosine, and tangent. Several of you are caught up on that, but the reason I made the video on the special right triangles is because you can do this assignment just using the special right triangles. We notice here we have a 90-degree angle. We have a 45-degree angle, so that's, this means this angle down here also has to be 45 degrees. The ratio for a 45-45-90 triangle is x, x, and x times this, times the square root of 2 for the sides. Now, let's see what this does in terms of our ability to work this problem out. We know if we were going to go from this side here, x, to x times the square root of 2, that we, need, we would need to multiply that number by the square root of 2. But since we already have the hypotenuse, we need to divide by the square root of 2 to get the leg here. Okay? So on a 45, 45, 90 triangle, you're just multiplying or dividing by the square root of 2. So in this case, we're going to take 3 square root of 46. We're going to divide that by the square root of 2. Now this is a pretty bad looking problem. But a good rule of thumb with square roots is that anytime you have numbers inside square roots, you can multiply those numbers together or you can divide those numbers. So if we divided the numbers inside the square roots here, 46 divided by 2 would be 23. So our answer for that side length of x would just be 3 times the square root of 23. So then gh, which is this side right here, is just going to be 3 squared of 23.